Well, greetings to you all. Welcome, everybody, to day 21 of our journey through St Mark's Gospel uh, for Lent. Hope you're all keeping very well today, wherever you are. Our passage for today is Mark chapter 9, verses 33 to 50. That's Mark chapter 9, verses 33 to the end. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, what were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another about who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me, welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him, because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterwards to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. For truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than to have two hands and to go to hell, to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than to have two feet and to be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into hell, where their worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. For everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its saltiness, how can you season it? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. Gosh, well, there's so much in today's passage. It's difficult to know what to comment on, really, and what to pick out. Uh, one thing I would note from this passage is how common it is in society for people to jostle for position. Everyone wants to be number one, kingpin, top dog, whatever you call it. Jesus says, it must not be so among my followers. And he gives that example of humility and service. Jesus surely is the one who could stand on ceremony, uh, who could uh, vaunt in his position as son of God, but he never does. He humbles himself, and so his followers should do as well. And what about this thing of cutting off your hands or your feet or gouging your eyes out? Well, I think Jesus is exaggerating there, at least I hope he is, that we shouldn't take this literally, but what we should take literally it's the way in which sin affects us. We should examine ourselves and cut off those things which get in the way of us and God. Human pride being one of the chief ones. Let us pray. Lord, you humbled yourself in coming to earth. Help us to be humble. Help us not to think too highly of ourselves. Help us to have the same attitude of service which you had. We ask this for your name's sake. Amen. So there we are. That's the end of today's little session. I uh, hope you enjoyed being with me and look forward hopefully to seeing you for our next one. Until then, keep well, keep safe and bye for now.